It's time to have a look at all that's making it on the news across the country in brief. Two alleged Lashkar Itoewa militants and a teenage civilian were killed in an encounter in Pulwama district of South Kashmir. The militants killed at the spot, as per the preliminary reports, have been identified as Jahangir Ahmed Ganai and Muhammad Shafat Sherjugri. Thousands of students began writing CBSC Class 2 of and Class 10 board examinations yesterday. A total of 59,014 Class 2 of candidates will appear from the Chennai region that comprises nine states and union territories, including Tamil Nadu. Mobile phones and calculators are banned from exam halls, but students are allowed to bring stationery, both blue and black pens allowed. Diabetic students will be allowed to bring food and water bottle. The announcement of by-election to Dr. Radhakrishnan Nagar constituency in Chennai will not affect the presentation of the Irapadi K. Palini Swami government's maiden budget in the Tamil Nadu Assembly. The state government announced that the budget would be presented on March 16. The election commission announced that the by-poll would be held on April 12. The Reserve Bank of India said it will shortly issue a new Rs. 10 denomination currency notes, while clarifying that the old Rs. 10 notes will also remain valid. All the bank notes in the denomination of Rs. 10 issued by the bank in the past will continue to be legal tender, the Apex Court clarified. The vehicular traffic was suspended between Jammu Srinagar National Highway 44 following the landslides at Jammu Kashmir's Digdol and Pantial due to heavy snowfall. The heavy snowfall at various places in Kashmir and many parts of Jammu region, including the Jawahar Tunnel, led to the closure of the Jammu Srinagar National Highway and many other locations. The Meteorological Department has predicted that widespread rain and snow which hit the region will remain until March 13.